These are essential tips for using Copilot in OneDrive. And today we are going to walk through five practical examples for every department. Whether you are a finance manager comparing financial reports, or if you are a human resource manager reviewing resumes for interview applicants, with Copilot in OneDrive, we can quickly gain insights on documents, freeing up time for more meaningful work. So let's nerd out. A quick disclaimer before we get started is that Microsoft Copilot in OneDrive is only currently available on the web. And it's also available to users with a work or school account and is now rolling out over the next coming months to Microsoft personal or family subscribers. With that being said, the account that I will be demonstrating on today has a 365 Copilot standalone license. In our first example, you are a new sales manager at an organization and you want to skim through these product sheets to familiarize yourself with these products. So we could select one document, but we can also select up to five. Then we will go to Copilot and summarize. So here, Copilot is going to review each of these documents and pull out key points summarizing these documents, saving you time from opening up each of them individually and reviewing them for the specific content. At the time of recording, we are only able to compare up to five files. And unfortunately, Copilot is not able to analyze images, videos, or notebooks, but Microsoft is going to be adding new features soon. In our next example, you are a finance manager and we are going to use Copilot in OneDrive to compare these two profit and loss reports. So we can go up to Copilot and then this time we will go compare files. So this is going to compare the two files and put the content into a beautiful and easy to navigate table. If you want to make any adjustments to this table, then you could go ask a question. And for example, you could say, summarize revenue items only, and then it would remove the expenses. So this is how we can quickly compare data within files and gain insights. If you wanted to copy this content and put it into another document, such as Word, then we could simply use this copy button here. I also wanted to note that we are in the operations team right now. So Copilot inherits your permissions and is only able to access and gather insights from documents that you have access to. So we are able to gather insights from your own personal OneDrive files, but we are also able to gather insights from shared document libraries within a Microsoft team or SharePoint site. Moving along, you are the marketing manager at Amy's Animal Shop and you have drafted some product launch content for a new online dog training course. And you want to add a frequently asked question section to our website based on this information. So what we can do is we can hover over the file and click this little co-pilot icon. Then we can go create an FAQ. So this is now going to review the contents of the documents and extract common questions and answers. So now we have some great content that we can easily add to our website for that FAQ section. But at the same time, I really like this FAQ feature to quickly gain insights and familiarize yourself with new documents within your organization. A quick pause in today's video to say that my ebook Navigating Microsoft Passages is available for free for you to download. Inside, you will find a treasure map to help you navigate Microsoft 365 apps with confidence so that you can increase your productivity and efficiency and reclaim your time for meaningful work. I will include a link at the end of this tutorial as well as in the description of this one. So be sure to check it out and grab your copy today. Moving along to my favorite feature for Copilot within OneDrive, and you are the HR manager. 
and we have these two resumes for the applicants for the new store manager. And this time we want to see which one of these candidates has a higher level of education. So we can go up to Copilot and this time we can go ask a question. And here we are going to ask in normal language which resume has higher education. So Copilot has now reviewed both of those applications and has provided us with the answer. Now, in this case, we only have two files, so it's pretty easy to digest this content. But if you, for example, had multiple files at the moment, we can have up to five, then you can simply ask Copilot to tabulate. And this is going to put your content into a digestible table similar to that compare feature. In this example, Copilot added some additional columns. So if you wanted to, you could, for example, say education only, and then it would adjust the table accordingly. So that just demonstrates how we can use natural language to have conversations with Copilot to gain insights on our documents. Moving along, Copilot within OneDrive can help us get past the dreadful blank page writer's block. So you are the operations manager and have been tasked to draft a business plan for the upcoming year. You have a previous year's file and you want to use this as a template. So in this example, we can hover over the file, select the Copilot icon, and this time we will go ask a question. Then we can use normal language and ask Copilot to help us draft a business plan using the same layout as this document, and you could leave it at that and Copilot would generate a business plan for you. But if you want to contribute to the creation of that document, then you can finish off your prompt by asking Copilot to ask you a series of questions for each section. So we can see that Copilot has now provided us with some questions. So then you could use normal language to answer these questions, have a conversation with Copilot, and it can help you create that new business plan. For more tips on using Copilot, you can check out this playlist here.